Welcome to another edition of Professor Messer's free CompTIA A plus certification training course. And in this training course edition, we're going to talk about motherboard drive connections. The type of hard drives and drive connections on the back come to us from this CompTIA exam objective where we would expect to be able to look at a motherboard and know exactly where a floppy drive connects to, where an EIDE or a PADA drive connects to, where a SATA drive connects, and where a SCSI drive connects. And these may be new terms. We'll step through each one of these and give you a feel for what they are because there's a lot of abbreviations here. And some of them, abbreviations and the types of the terminology have changed through the years. So we'll step through a little bit of that as well. We'll start with our drive connections from a floppy drive. And this is from my motherboard. And the floppy drive connections on a motherboard are very unique. They're not, uh, not like any other connection you're going to see. In fact, you'll see the floppy on my motherboard it even puts the word right next to it. It's a 34 pin connection. And it looks a little bit like this IDE port that we have down at the bottom. We'll talk about IDE in just a moment. It looks a lot like that. The structure is almost exactly the same. If we weren't looking, we might even try to plug our floppy drive cable into that IDE connection. But you'll notice that some of the pins are missing in here so that you can't do that. If you tried to plug it in, it, it might go in a little bit. You find it might stop. And if you were to get a flashlight, look in there pretty well, you'd see that you were in the wrong connection. And so you'll see a ribbon cable coming in, and that's where it will plug into very plain on the motherboard. That's one of the few times in our are working with a motherboard that you're going to see that floppy connection is going to be that way every time. It looks exactly the same way. Now we were just talking about that IDE connection and that really is talking about an enhanced integrated drive electronics connection and EIDE is what it's called today. The enhanced comes from this 40 pin interface just underneath. This is the second 40 pin interface I have on my motherboard. The other one you can't see it's off of this picture. And it comes uh, from this very similar you'll hear it used a lot uh, in, in with this IDE. You'll call it an IDE drive which uh, just stands for integrated drive electronics. You'll also hear it referred to as an ATA connection, an advanced technology attachment. And although we use those terms almost interchangeably these days, they aren't quite exactly the same thing. And this is a very good example of where you'd see an, an, an ATA drive plugged into this connection, but it's identified as an IDE connection. Just take those two terms to mean exactly the same thing, even though there are a little bit different in the specifications. Today we call those ATA connections parallel ATA connections. They just used to be called ATA drives, but now we call them PADA drives. And that's because there's a newer type of drive configuration that uses a serial connection, uh, a SATA drive. We'll talk about that in just a moment. So if somebody says, I'm looking for a PADA drive, you'll know that they're just looking for an ATA drive. And you'll see that that serial ATA looks a lot different. It plugs in a lot different. So they're not interchangeable. They use very different technologies, even though the ATA specification does have a little bit underneath the surface. If you were to look at the specifications themselves, they were a little bit different, but there's some things that are the same between them. The SATA drives themselves, I mentioned those are the serial advanced technology attachments, that serial being very important. And very much like the buses of our systems becoming serialized, the serial attached drives will also have higher throughputs. They also have smaller cables. We'll talk more about that when we talk about hard drives later on in our video training series. But hard drives themselves having this smaller connection that run at higher speeds is good for many different reasons, for cooling, for throughput. And you'll notice that this is these connections that we have on here are very different. If we have an ATA connection on our system, these are two separate SATA connections on our motherboard. Look how small they are. Because they are serial connections, they don't take up much real estate. Another good reason to have them on our motherboards. It becomes very handy, especially as motherboards get smaller and throughputs go up. It's nice to have those smaller connections available. One interface type that's been around well, almost forever. It's been around for a very, very, very long time, since 1986, is something called the Small Computer System Interface. And we'll never call it that. Everybody always refers to it as SCSI, S-C-S-I. That SCSI connection has been around for so long that it has so many different versions, so many different connections associated with it. On my motherboard, relatively recent motherboard, it has this large connection on it, very small, but they come in so many different flavors. And here's just an example of the type of SCSI connections you might see. Some of the older Centronics connectors are up here at the top. I see that on a lot of legacy system. You don't see it very much any longer. 
but some of the older scanners, some of the very first CD-ROM drives used SCSI connections and they plugged in with these Centronics connectors. These days you see a little bit smaller. The this one that we were looking at just a, a little bit ago is this smaller 68-pin connection that's coming right off of my motherboard. And it may be identified on the motherboard as a SCSI connector. Be sure to look for those. But those smaller connectors work a lot better for today's motherboards because you don't want to take up a lot of room. These Centronics connectors are big and fat. These micro D connectors, much smaller, much thinner. They take up a lot less room on the motherboard. So in review, we've seen exactly where on the motherboard we'd plug in a floppy drive. We know exactly where those IDE drives plug into or those PADA drives plug into. We've seen where this new generation of SATA drives plugs in. You're going to see a lot of those as we go forward. And also some of these old school SCSI connectors, which still have very high throughputs, allow us to get a lot of connectivity and where those might be on our motherboard as well. For more of our CompTIA a certification training videos, for our message boards, and for our training guides, you can always go to our website, freeaplus.com.